Hello, it's me, just me, no boys. We're getting ready to do some repairs on the RV. Everything has finally come in that I ordered. So I wanted to show you what we bought and uh, what we're gonna get done. So the first two things that we're going to be doing, the main two things we're going to be doing are the roof and the water lines. We're going to be replacing all the fresh water, li water lines. <sighs> I'll be so happy to get that done. So first let's talk about the roof. The RV is a 1999 motorhome, so it has plenty of sap and other stuff on the roof. So we bought some good degreaser to help get that off. I bought Zep. I know it's good because um, I used to work in apartments and Zep was what we used to clean. Uh, I bought the Zep at Menards. So we'll clean it with that. And then we're going to be doing, oh, and to clean it, I got a brush with a full, full broom handle to make it a little bit easier. Um, and we also got some smaller brushes so we can get around all of the little uh, air conditioner and vents and things like that. So we're doing that um, to, uh, we'll clean it. Then I am having my bathroom vent replaced and putting in a fantastic fan. Yay! Now I say having it replaced because I'm probably not gonna climb on that roof. I break enough bones just on the ground. Shattered radial cap, and a different time, shattered radial cap. So I'm playing it safe and staying off of the roof. Um, after I have the fantastic fan put into the bathroom vent, then I will have that vent covered with this wind guard. And I will have my the vent that's already in place, my existing vent, also covered with a wind guard. Okay, wind guard, it's out of the way. And then we will do the, there's, uh, we have some sealant. Uh, this is Dicor sealant. Look for the old guy. I'm not an expert, but I talked to a friend that works on RVs and he highly recommends Dicor, the old guy. Um, same with all of these things. I'm not an expert, but I tried to look and see and talk to everybody the best I could to find the best stuff. Not the top, most expensive, but the best that I can. But Dicor is one of the tops. Um, this is a cleaner and activator for Dicor. Uh, it, since I'm doing the Dicor sealant, I needed the Dicor activator to make sure it all clings properly. Uh, the Dicor comes in a gallon, which is over here. <laughs> I chose to go with the Dicor with some insulation. Hoping that'll help it keep just a little cooler in the summer and those times when I'm stuck where it's cold, a little warmer. Um, again, look for the old guy. And I estimated that I would need two gallons of Dicor for my roof because it's a 32 foot RV but I bought three gallons, just in case. I'd rather have too much than not enough, especially since I don't live anywhere close to where I can go and buy more. It's like two hours to the nearest place that has a, a uh, an RV shop. So we've got all of that for the rooftop. I bought the, oh yes, and then to apply, almost forgot, to apply the Dicor, ugh. <laughs> this is hard in an RV. To apply the Dicor sealant, I got a mop to move it around on there. Um, I bought the mop and the brushes and at the at Menards. Uh, most of the other stuff, the Dicor sealant um, and the Dicor, I got that from Amazon. Now I looked at the wind guards on Amazon and Menards and it was much cheaper at Menards, which was a uh, good surprise but good um, so that's what we're doing on the roof then we are working on the water system it was not winterized properly before I got it so there's a lot of leaks in the water system um, I've chosen to take out all of the water PVC not the sewer parts but the fresh water and replace it with PEX pipe PEX pipe has a little bit more flexibility so if I have if it gets 
a little frozen, it won't be as likely to freeze and just snap. I'll still avoid the cold, but it gives me a little bit more, a little bit less of the automatic snap it's done for completely. So we've got the PEX pipe. With PEX pipe, we have a couple of options of how to work with the PEX pipe. The general basic PEX pipe is you take a PEX link and you'll push it into one end of that, put the PEX pipe around it. Well, actually you put this on the PEX pipe, then you put this in the PEX pipe, and then we have a crimping tool that will uh, yep, that will crimp it down. So <laughs> I can see the kids playing with that one. Um, I from watching videos, I know sometimes this can be difficult and harder. So I'm glad I have friends here helping with this part. I will try to help some of it, but I'm not sure how much I can do. So that is the tool that we'll have for uh, connecting the PEX pipe. Uh, the other tool that I bought is a cutting tool. And a number of videos said this is very important, so you can cut the PEX pipe straight, which makes sure that your joints are much better and less likely to leak. Uh, and this one is not just for PEX pipe. It's, this one says it's a refrigeration tool, so it's used for a number of different pipes and tubes and things. And it came in a nice little case for my, my two tools to stay together. We'll see if that helps to keep the boys out of them. Um, I also have, we will need to do some shutoff valves. And these are some PEX ones. Uh, some of them had such a small handle that I was afraid with my lack of dexterity due to the radial cap that I wouldn't be able to turn them. So I got ones with a slightly bigger turn handle. They had some bigger ones, but that would be get in the way on the inside of the RV. So I went with these big enough, but not too big. So these will be used like under the sinks and uh, to turn off water to the water pump if I need to at some point or uh, for draining the water tank, things like that. Now some of some of the joints I am going to go with, this is similar to a shark bite. They're like shark bites, but these were called Aqualock. So hopefully they're good. These seem to be, um, some places said that the shark bite type of things are less likely to leak uh, in an RV because of the vibration. I looked at the price of them and I just couldn't quite afford to buy all of them this way. So we're going to use these in places where it's more likely to flex and use the PEX pipe, PEX connectors where it's like flat against a board or something like that, where it's less likely to flex. And these are also very handy when there's a spot where you can't quite get in there very well and it's hard to get the tool in there. So those will come in handy for that. I've got some T's and I've got the L shapes for those. And I've got to make sure I've got, I chose not to replace the little hose things that go from the water parts. Um, those seem to still be in good shape, so I don't need to do that. And this RV has, yeah, a number of issues. It's getting a new faucet because the faucet that's on there doesn't have a handle. So I made sure to get the faucet that has the, the faucet way up here so I can get it to use it to fill things and stuff in the little sink. And I'm adding something that I didn't have that I'm very excited about. It's an outdoor faucet. So I chose the one where I can attach a quick connect hose and I can put different things on the end of the hose so the boys can use it to wash off when they come back from the mud. And it's hot or cold, so we can use it and not have it so cold because with their, with Shane's pots, the cold water really actually is painful. So this will make it nice and warm and we can fill their tote and they can have their bath outside and their swimsuits and everything. Ah, as a mom of boys that 
love to go in the mud and I love to let them go in the mud, this will be so wonderful. And I think that's everything. Is that everything I have? Oh, no, I'm replacing. Hold on, I'm trying to get it out of the box. Come here. Ah. I am replacing my water pump. On the other water pump, I know that the filter was broken, but it's probably been there since this was built 20 years ago. So I got a new one. I got SureFlow, which costs just a little more, but it's a good water pump and I can put a filter on it that will uh, allow it to filter out particles and stuff. So if I'm in the desert and things like that and there's sand, I can help it keep the particles out of it. Um, I also got, I don't think we're going to need it with PEX tape, with PEX pipe, but I got some, um, uh, what is it called? Teflon tape, just in case, like connecting to the faucets and things like that. So most of the stuff for the water system I got from um, Amazon just because it was easiest to just have it delivered here and get it done. Um, oh, a couple more things. This is also for the PEX pipe. It helps to see if you slide it on, have you crimped it, have you crimped the ring down tight enough? It tells you yes or no uh, if it's in the right spot. And there was one more thing I wanted to show you. Where did it go? I laid it down. There is a little tool that you use to uh, make sure that your... Oh, and of course I've lost it. But it's a little orange tool that has several little rings. It almost looks like one of those pan flutes. But it's to measure the length that you need for your... Um, the end of the pipes. It also cuts off the little edges um, that may be on there from when you cut the pipes. And from several videos, um, this they said that it's useful to get the shark bites to uh, work the best without uh, them leaking. You got to really push them on there and make sure they're on there far enough and everything. So I wish I could find that for you real quick, but I'm not sure where I put it. Well, I did, I did really good, though, of only losing one thing. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, I may look like I'm organized, but it's just an illusion. Um, also, while I have somebody here who can work on, on uh, electricity, getting a new uh, porch light put in. Maybe I'll have them teach me how to do it, because it's 12 volt, so maybe I can do that. I won't, wor I won't touch the other stuff. I don't, my hair's curly enough. Don't need it any more curly. So... Those are the things that we're getting done on the RV very soon. Oh, and we're getting uh, some work on the floor that when I was checking things out to map the water line, we figured out there's a whole big giant space under our floorboards. So we're gonna put in a, hopefully here real soon, we're going to put in a trap door that goes down to that big space. It looks like maybe there was supposed to be a, an option for a second water tank, although it's even bigger than that. So I'll store winter clothes or uh, lightweight stuff like that down there that we don't need very often. And when I go solar, I'll turn that into where I put my battery bank. But that'll be a well, because this has spent enough money. Okay, well, I hope this was all helpful to you. Again, I'm not an expert on these things, but I just wanted to show you what we're doing and, and uh, what we're using, and I'm excited. Bye! See you soon!